Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm DJ Abmacrea, Trap Kent ET, and today we're going to be talking about mid to side compression and limiting. Uh, there is li uh, mid to side equal equalizing, or yes, EQing, but I want to just focus on this particular aspect of mixing and mastering. So, you know, right in front of us right now as a uh, uh, probably one of the best emulations of the 2A. And what the 2A is, is basically made by Teletronics. And, you know, this is some uh, nice piece of uh, amplitude uh, tubing compression that, you know, I believe it was a, a British style type thing and very, very popular and prominent in rock and roll. However, a hip hop producer probably got introduced to an engineer uh, with that lineage and that knowledge and the engineer ended up making some of the biggest waves in hip hop. And his name is Dr. Dre and Dr. Dre actually used this technique to make a lot of his tracks big. I know a lot of you heard about, Hey, how do I get my sound big? You know, a lot of people have tutorials on it, but none really hit the, hit the real key aspects of it or very few. And, and this because of, the knowledge of mixing and mastering is very confused. A lot of people have different aspects and and di uh, different uh, have different uh, opinions of how mixing and mastering is. So I'm trying to keep it as much in perspective as well as possible. So now that I actually talk about it, you can actually see it visually. We're gonna go ahead and play this track in three, two, one. I know I've been talking a lot, so we're gonna go ahead and play that. So right now the track is being bypassed. If you actually pay attention to the phase and in this particular meter, you'll see that the track is pretty much dead center. However, the the phases are not being uh, distributed in such an organized manner, uh, such as mid to side would be. So basically it will sound stereo separated and thus like how a lot of tracks will sound good on one system, it won't sound good on other systems. So I'm gonna go ahead and just switch it on, just to switch it on. Just now, now that it's being limited and it's being, you can actually hear the, the, the particular, and I will cover Maximus as well. I have it pulled up as well because I know everybody doesn't have T-Rex and other plugins as well so that everybody knows how mid side works <clears throat> and how different it might work <clears throat> so or different it might sound in different plugins so this is basically that has the characteristics like i said of the 2a of the tel uh, teletronics 2a so you know as you can see as you hear you know it, it kind of if you look at this It's gluing the track up um, much better. I mean, it's giving the track a little characteristic, but however, it's not doing mid to side compression. So we're gonna go and how you activate ah, activate mid to side is that you press this right here and you add it. So I'm gonna be a little harsh on this track. So I'm gonna be a little hard on this track just to show like the difference, the different things that you do in mid to side, so that you actually hear the characteristics. So. Let's let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and play track. Make sure that you have headphones on and that you're actually, you know, on studio monitor so you can actually hear the exact difference. So I'm going to go ahead and play this track now. It's bypassed, so it's back to its original state. And now let's hear the difference Admit of what mid to side is doing. You hear how big that is versus just a regular track that if you was just to compress it normally. And 
I'm just being a little harsh. Like that's a little t- a bit too much. I can go back down. Just and now I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. Now you can actually hear that on crackle bastard but <laughs> now you can actually hear uh within the mix you can actually hear that the snare is bigger and you can actually hear like like the eight, the snare and the 808 is in the center the 808 and the kick is fatter you know and and i'm not even using like a great kick at, at that at all i'm I, I, what is matter of fact let's go ahead and uh listen to that I could push up the uh, the bass a little bit So now, now that you hear that, I'm going to go ahead and bypass it so you can hear it regularly. So now that you hear that, I'm going to up and I'm going to play it with it on again. Now. Now you can actually hear the size of it. I want, let's, how about the center? What what can I do to make the center stand out? So I'm gonna go ahead and you know just be a little harsh again on the gain and you know just kind of adjust the peak reduction as I push the gain up. Uh, I, I won't try to make the center pumpy because it doesn't sound very great when it's pumpy. But you know, in my, that's my opinion. That's just not the mood of this track. But. So it's in the middle, the mid part of it, and not the side part of it. It's not as prominent, so you know it was gonna cause distortion. So you hear how, how big the snare is versus versus it being on the bypass. I'm just going to go ahead and reset it so you can actually hear it in parallel mode. So now, now you see how how different the, the track. I'm, I can't say I can't use better because some people might not even feel that mid to side is better, even regardless of, of naming one of the biggest producers to ever use mid to side um, in compression. <clears throat> and not to mention all the great rock and roll records that use mid side. <clears throat> so, or heavy metal for that matter. But, you know, par- in parallel, you can actually hear how, how less it glues versus mid side, where. I apologize for these pops. Freaking Windows 10 is choosing to update right now. Aggravated. Oh boy, I'm very, I'm very aggravated right now for that. 
So just moving a little forward, I'm going to go ahead and pull up Maximus because I know that everybody does not have that. So, you know, I, I, I already preset Maximus to certain things, you know. I'm going to go ahead and not do that and stereo separate that hard because that's a little too harsh. Uh, <clears throat> now, Maximus is kind of different, uh, kind of a different story from the T-Rex. I mean, off top, Maximus is made sonically neutral, which means it doesn't have any different characteristics as far as emulation of of like a certain outboard gear or certain other compressor on the market. It's just made for compression. And, you know, basically it, you know, just not the compression, just for compression and other characteristics of a certain compressor. So let's get that straight. Um, now, you you have uh, the way you activate mid side is this way. And, you know, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to actually play the track without uh, Maximus on. So we actually have it neutral. And then we're going to add Maximus. You hear that? And just for kicks and giggles, let's compare it to the T-Rex. As you see, the Max Maximus does hold its own in, in, as well as it is minorly a little CPU, f more CPU friendly. So there you go. That that that, and you know, you just make your 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 adjustments as such. You know, if you're literally trying to you know use uh, Maximus for other things, you know, you could just go ahead and pump it up. Here's also another pretty intriguing thing about it as well. Uh, you can actually adjust how much center you want. We're looking at that, and, and all you have to do to actually see that is, you know, you actually turn this on, and you know you can see the monitoring, and then you know. So, you know, I don't really like that much of the the track in the middle to spread off to the side. I think it's very good and very congruent when it's like this. And again, people are going to ask, like, why? Why admit the side anyways other than, yo, it's Dr. Dre, you know, his beats sound good. And, you know, a lot of classic rock and roll and heavy metal records sound very good mid, mid to side. But I, I just don't see how it would work with Trap. It works very well with trap music because uh, if you think about it, you know, mid, the purpose of mid to side is actually, you know, just organizing your track. So, you know, you want your bass and your sense to be heard. And the, when you have mid to side, what you're doing, all the transients have a, a better chance, a fighting chance of not fighting each other and staying in order. So you're kind of arranging it in order. So you have it center and side so, so your sides as you can see being represented right here and, th and this is true as far as me explaining you know mid to side in general as far as the t-rex goes <clears throat> and you know uh, any other compressors that can do that is that you're you're organizing all the stronger and like phases transients you know harmonics all the like harmonics in the middle and then all your unlike you know, smaller and weaker are off to the side and, you know, it, it gives everything that needs to be present in the middle, in the center. So basically monoing. So it will actually sound much better on PA systems and stuff like that. It, and on all devices in general, much like Dr. Dre stuff, right? 
So there you go. For those who might be visiting Dr. Dre and he might uh and he gives you that auxiliary chord and he wants you to play your beats and he he's like <laughs> this sucker doesn't know my secret and <laughs> you blow, <laughs> and you blow up his spot because you not only are your tracks hot and they you got the the new hotness on your uh, beats uh, <laughs> you also have the the techniques of all the older engineers uh know as far as keeping your transients in order so there you go smith side so let's uh pull up press work because i you know i got a crew of press work people i unfortunately people for ozone that have ozone five and six or whatever that is you're on your own you gotta figure it out but you at least know the basic concept Boy, I just earned myself a dislike from those guys. But uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll pull it up. Press work. Press work in general is a little. It it's a little more system heavy probably than uh, T Rex and Maximus, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Or well, actually no, because they actually they actually do a pretty decent job of having low latency. So I'm gonna go ahead and detach this. Ooh, come on. There we go. That son of a gun was fight me. So we have different ones. I'm going to go ahead and play each and every last one of them. Uh, then I'm going to play Maximus. I don't even think I have uh, T-Rex in mid to side mode anymore. I think I reset it. I'll go back. But now we're in Pressworks, and Pressworks is active now. So, where is Mid Decide? It's right here. <laughs> it's not like I, I'm actually looking at the stream, and they're like, man, just go on, man. But uh, yeah, Mid Decide is right here. This is how you activate it. And you know, we're gonna play. We're gonna play this track. Bypassing. You know what? I don't even want to do that. You know why? Because if you have press works, bow, you have mid to side right here. And let's go into that mid to side and let's dial it up. So as you can see, that's mid right here. So you know, you can increase the input.
So now, I know this is very lengthy, but this is very important, guys. And and if you put, cut it off already, <laughs> I feel bad for you. So we're gonna just go ahead, just for kicks and giggles, we have. We're gonna compare the three. And and don't mind, don't don't mind anything. You know, I know, I know. You know. You gotta keep in consideration that these are three different compressors. So what might might sound good to the you might sound good to somebody else. My personal preference off top in general is Pressworks because it's much easier to do everything in there. And you can see it. Uh overall, my my opinion as far as mid to side is going so far, the way I like it, or the my natural feeling that I have for it, uh, I am really feeling Maximus. I'm mid to side, so that's good for people that actually only have Maximus. As you can see, you can see that uh, T-Rex is a little system heavy, but it's it's only system heavy right now because I'm actually running it and I'm recording at the same time. So, you know, it's really, it's one of the pain in that butts. I seven time. bias really leans towards press work because I believe that it, it sounds more musical isn't as aggressive uh, I mean it has the aggressiveness that I want I mean I could really dial down into the response uh, the response or actually increase the input and to give it more harshness uh, in terms of aggressiveness uh, Maximus is actually pretty darn cool that it has as much aggressiveness that it is and, and it has the probably the it, it's sonically neutral so it has no kind of it has no characteristic but you know the clarity is there so you know if you if you're just wanting a nice clean clear clear type sound and you know you don't want it to sound kind of analogish you perhaps you might roll with Maximus and same thing with the T, uh, the T Rex. The T Rex is actually has is on the same level as you. He's press worse as far as the characteristics. Um, I do like the T Rex as well. Uh, there's other mid to side uh, compressors in there that I could try, but you know, I'm not gonna declare, declare winner. So which one is your favorite? Just let me know. You know, in the comment section, which one is your is your most favorite? Once again, you know, I know people have ozone and all that, and you know, other compressors. You know, Slate Digital. There's other ones out there, but yeah, just let me know. But this is meant to side, Dr. Dre. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> your secret is out. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have any comments, leave a comment. And this is your first video. I have more videos. You know, check out my, my playlist and stuff like that. I have mix, more mixing and mastering. Um, and I'm DJ McCree, and I'm out. Have a good day.